Shalom and welcome to Sivut Torah. This year is entitled, should we say, in response to the tragedy of Meron, the full bracha, bracha to Shemir Chalam, Dain HaEmet. Minnigs always say Dain HaEmet, bracha Dain HaEmet, just the three words, but should we say the full bracha, what's God's name? So you learned the previous Shear, that really, Reish Chav Bet says that any tragedy, you have sad news, it doesn't be such a big tragedy, you lose money, you lose uh, your wine, for men, uh, a cow that it does work for you, dies. So all the more so, a tragedy like this. And it says, when your person goes in, Reish Chav Gimel, a person dies. For their talk, best person, your father. So I come to him, he said, no, it's really anyone, it's an Adam Kasher. And in Shimem and Yoradei, it says, Adam Kasher, a good fr- Jew, Yeri Shemayim, keeps the halacha. So we've certainly heard that. Over 40 people, Adam Kasher. So the fact is, there's a gap between the din. The din is, we should say, the bracha, bracha, Tashem, with God's name. But the Achronim say, for various reasons, we don't do it. The Mishibura says, in Reish Chav Gimel, the minig is not to, but he says, Eino Nachon, it's wrong, but it seems like that is the minig, that we don't start to French with it. Well, this person really affected me a lot, this tremendous tsar, that one has less tsar, no tsar, and it's a bit of a vague kind of thing, so we, the minig developed only over the seven relatives, but certainly, even if technically we're not going to say, with God's name, the pain and the feeling and the tsar should be there, and the recognition that Hashem is the Daina Emet, is the judge. We don't always understand his deeds and his judgments, but we understand that it's Emes. Shalom.